Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve question number 26 of grade 2009 physics paper. The question is related to tensile analysis. The question is, let Tij is equal to epsilon k, eps, uh, eps, uh, uh, summation of k epsilon ijk ak and beta of k is given by another uh, equation is equal to summation i running over i and j epsilon ijk tij then where epsilon ijk is a levi Sevetta tensor then the value of beta 3 is what so we have been given four options one of the options is correct so first of all in the question they have given something called epsilon ijk which they have called levi Sevetta tensor so levi Sevetta tensor is a three rank tensor and it has three values depending so it is plus one for even or cyclic permutation of ijk of ijk that is for cyclic for example one two three now you change into two three one or now again epsilon three one two so for all these values this tensor is equal to the value of uh, this Levi's Sevetta tensor is uh, 1 and uh, similarly if you just uh, for it is 0 for epsilon 2 2 1 epsilon 1 1 2 so whenever there is a repetition of any indices for more than once then for all those values this value of Levi's Sevetta tensor is 0 and the value of Levi's Sevetta tensor is minus 1 for odd or non-cyclic permutation of ijk that is for example you take uh, uh, 1 3 2 or epsilon uh, 3 2 1 or epsilon 2 1 3 so for these three con conditions the value of epsilon is minus 1 so in the question they have we have been asked to find beta 3 so we just use these two equations so since beta k is uh, epsilon i j sorry summation i j k t i j so beta 3 is nothing but ep, summation i j epsilon i j in for k value will put 3 t i j or we can further expand this since i can take i j and k can take value from up to 1 2 3 so we'll just put the first value you get is epsilon 1 2 3 t 1 2 that is i is equal to 1 j is equal to 2 now if you take another value for example if you take uh, i is equal to 1 and uh, j is equal to 3 then you are again the 3 will repeat it twice so the only non-zero uh, component which you will get is when you put i is equal to 2 and j is equal to 1 that is epsilon 2 1 3 t 2 1 for rest all of the combinations you will get 0 and we know that epsilon 1 2 3 is 1 so it is t 1 2 and epsilon 2 1 3 epsilon 2 1 3 is minus 1 so so beta 3 is nothing but t 1 2 and t minus 1 now t 1 2 is what using this equation we can find out we know t i j is summation k epsilon i j k a k so t 1 2 is you have to put, just put the value of uh, i is equal to 1 and j is equal to 2 so we get 1 2 and uh, 1 2 k a k now to have non-zero value of t 1 2 you have to put k is equal to 3 so so that the uh, no two indices get repeated and this is 1 epsilon 1 2 3 so t 1 2 is nothing but a 3 similarly to t sorry this is t21 this is this is t21 okay similarly t21 is nothing but epsilon 21 k okay, you have to put 3 to get non zero value and epsilon 213 is nothing but minus 1 so minus a3 so use use these two uh, into back into one so your beta 3 is nothing but t12 which is a3 minus of t21 which is minus a3 so your answer is 2 times a3 this is the value of beta 3 
so option a is correct thank you for watching this video